Here you see bus is WSU's project where you submit your questions about our region, its people, or its history, and we assign a reporter or producer to investigate it. Today's segment takes us back to a lesser known part of Columbus's sports history. Central Ohio is filled with parks where it's common to see soccer and baseball games underway, or joggers and bicyclists making use of trails. Decades ago, it would have been just as likely to see horseback riders trotting on that very same ground. That led Patricia Bonham to ask us about a man named Frank Talmadge and a riding club that once existed in Franklin Park. Born in Lancaster, Ohio in 1854, Frank Talmadge grew up to become successful in the insurance business and a prominent member of Columbus society. He was a well-respected civic leader whose birthday parties were written about in the newspaper. He was known as an avid equestrian who worked diligently to keep appreciation of horses and horseback riding alive as automobiles became more and more common. In 1925, his book, Horseback Riding in and Around Columbus, 1774 to 1924, was published. In it, Talmadge writes about the history of horseback riding from the days of the area's earliest pioneers to his present day. He was a member of several riding and country clubs, but in one chapter, he documented the story of a group of like-minded riders who met in Franklin Park in 1903. Some wondered, why wasn't there a riding club in the area? After some deliberation and a collection of signatures, a group of charter members, including Frank Talmadge, started what was known as the Columbus Riding Club. In 1905, he was elected president of that organization. Over the next several years, the club held horseback riding events and competitions in and around Franklin Park and at country clubs around Columbus. Talmadge himself was noted as the winner of several horse show events. Talmadge remained a horseback riding enthusiast all his life. He died at the age of 83 in May of 1937. His obituary in the Columbus Dispatch called him a famous horseman and an authority on equestrian chip, who was familiar to nearly all Columbus residents. Now, while I was researching Frank Talmadge, Curious Bus got another question about the Columbus Riding Club. This one was from Rafael Lisboa, manager of the Wyandotte Athletic Club. And it turns out that although the Columbus Riding Club no longer exists, its hoof print can still be seen right here in Columbus. In 1933, the Columbus Evening Dispatch reported on the groundbreaking of a new hall for the Columbus Riding Club. The new structure would allow equestrians to ride all year long, day or night, which was a really big deal at the time. The paper said that the hall was the fulfillment of a long-held dream for Frank Talmadge. And on that day, he laid the cornerstone for the building, which still stands today on Riding Club Lane, where it's home to the Wyandotte Athletic Club. Do you have a question for Curious Bus? Head over to wosu.org slash curious to submit your idea, vote on which question we should investigate next, and see what we've covered so far. Thank you.